welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you chose this video to click on because this is going to be a list, hopefully unlike any other Christmas list that you see on YouTube this year. It is a list that I have been compiling for weeks, if not months. I've been getting links and pictures and, and just you name it. I've been looking for everything for you, collecting all the data, and now I'm putting it all together, finally. In this long-awaited video, at least long-awaited for me, I love making these videos. So, so let me go ahead and get started and show you what's on this list because it is long. Okay, so I tried to do my best by separating it out in categories of um, tech and for him, for her, for kids, for everybody, you name it. So I'm going to do my best. I will put pictures here and all links will be down in the description box below. So first I want to say you don't have to spend money on the people you love to show them that you love and care about them. Just spend time with them. Maybe make them a handmade card, something that shows that you took the time and you were thinking about them. And truly that's all that matters. So if you can't afford anything on this list, which there's an array of pricing, um, then don't feel pressured that like this is how you show somebody love because not everybody receives love by getting gifts. So that is just my little disclaimer. Um, but that would be my first thing is give of your time, give of yourself, um, just take some time and show and tell people how much you appreciate and love them. A book of the month club. So I found this online and I just thought it was really unique. Um, I think I think for the reader in your life, if they have kind of exhausted all of the books that they, they know of recently, then maybe this is something that can introduce them to some new books. This spiral Bible I thought was really cool because if you have a Bible and you ever are trying to take notes in it, it's really hard because you can't lay it flat really. So this spiral bound Bible will allow you to lay it flat. It allows you to actually open it all the way up and like flip it in half so you get just one side to work on each side. I just thought really, really unique. It's really beautiful. And I felt like it was pretty reasonably priced. Um, it's an Amazon gift card, a Visa gift card, maybe a Kindle gift card, if that's a thing, if that's not just an Amazon gift card, whatever it is, um, get them a gift card of a place that they love that you know that they're going to go anyway. I uh, just, removes that we'll say bill or amount of money from their life that's not coming just directly out of their pocket so i love chipotle i love getting chipotle gift cards i love getting starbucks gift cards amazon visa because visa is everywhere i want to be you know what i'm saying so those are all great ideas i'm sure you guys know gift cards that's a that's not that unique but it is just something that i think is kind of overlooked people don't like to give them but people love to receive them on to kind of more like actual physical gifts is this bamboo yeti lid organizer or just lid organizer i thought it was really cool because you could move the pegs around make them bigger for larger lids smaller for smaller lids but that way they're all stacked and you don't have to go searching around in like tupperware that you have things sitting in because that's how i have them organized right now and it's a mess so this would be great to have as a an organizational tool if you love organization Another organizational tool is a battery organizer. Hello, <laughs> these are awesome. These are for like the organization nerd in your life, which is moi. I have one of these. I think that it is awesome. I don't have batteries rolling around in some random thing. Now I know that if the AA batteries are um, like, if I'm running low, I can see that. AAA batteries running low, I can see that. These organizers range in like, huge extra large to smaller so you know choose the size that's right for your gift receiver so the next four or five items on my list are uh tumblers of some sort or whatever so if you are tired of tumblers getting receiving whatever you can just skip ahead but simple modern has the best tumblers i think in a long time i kind of like them better than yeti did I say that out loud? I did. I kind of like them better than Yeti. Um, I definitely like them better than the Stanley Cup. And so let me show you. There's a 40 ounce tumbler and this is the one I have and it's in this like kind of black on black cheetah print. It's so good. When you flip it upside down, it like barely drips anything out of it. Whereas like the Stanley tumblers, I felt like they just dripped a lot, like they spilled a lot, so, and I dropped things a lot. So if you love the Stanley Tumblr, I will link some down below, but I would say Simple Modern is like bar none to uh, the Stanley Tumblr. They also have a 50 ounce tumbler, which I do have. I just don't have it with me. It's still up in Michigan and we're in Texas right now, but that one's amazing. What I will say is that doesn't necessarily fit in like my cup holder. So you may also have to purchase them this like cup holder extender, but 
that thing holds a monster amount of liquid. Then there's this self-stirring mug, which I thought was really cool that you can just like, I like to mix like collagen and uh, MCT powder into, into my coffee in the morning. So this would be awesome just to be able to push that button and it just swirls it around. If not, I do have a hand frother and that's also amazing. I will link that down below as well. That's an amazing gift. That could be a great stocking stuffer as well. Then there's the WMP Porter Insulated Ceramic Mug, which I love because it is a ceramic essentially lining, which is kind of better for us. Metals and plastics, they just kind of leach into your drinks, especially with the hot drink. So I try to do as much ceramic as I can, ceramic or glass. The last couple simple modern tumblers are not, they're metal, but hey, you can't win them all, right? So this is something really awesome. It comes in an array of colors, and I just think that it's, it's a great option for a coffee tumbler. I do love this. I actually did bring it to Texas with me because it was easy enough to pack. Um, and then there's also this Rifle Paper Company mug, like coffee mug, and it comes in so many different designs. They're so cute. Check those out. I think they're also very like luxurious feeling and looking. So if you have a mug lover in your life, which what woman isn't really, um, this would be a great gift. And then a few kitchen utensils, little gadgets that I have found that are actually helpful is this chopper. It's a vegetable chopper. You can use it for vegetables, eggs, fruits, whatever you can think of, you can use this for. And it is so highly rated and so helpful in the kitchen. This cheese grater with a handle also comes with a box that the cheese grater can sit on top of and you can grate right into that little box and then you can store it in the fridge. So it just makes it super easy. And because it's stand up, it's so easy to grate with. And for the puzzle lover in your life, this Pita Pita, by Pita Pita, it, it's a puzzle board and it, you can do puzzles on it up to 1500 pieces. So it's big and it's amazing. My mom and I have done, I've done one puzzle on it with her. She, she's done a couple puzzles and we have many more to go. So it's super helpful because you can actually put this plastic piece on top of it if you're in the middle of a puzzle but need to move it off the space that you're working on and you can store it away. It also comes with like a Lazy Susan that it can sit on and a like board that it can sit upright for you. Now I'm gonna move on to tech and this is kind of tech for everybody but first up is the Beats over the ear headphones. I think these are probably the best purchase I've made for the gym in a long time. They just fold up like this and then they get stored inside of this little case or you can carry them just like that if you want but for me i put them in the case because i keep them in my workout bag and those things hold a charge forever like if you use them continuously all the time i'm sure they would drain pretty quickly probably within a day but because i use them for like an hour a few times a week it they last for months months the charge has last to be i've actually had them since july or august of this year no before that anyway i've only had to charge them once crazy then the apple airpods pro and i would say the pro version because they're just superior to the others um in this case they choose a self-charging case they're just amazing to use they're great i keep these in my purse all the time if i don't have those in my purse i have the beats in my purse the beats they're called the Beats Fit Pro. They also come in a self-charging case. They come in an array of colors. They're amazing. Both of those hold a charge for quite some time. I am just waiting for my AirPods to die because I've had them for four years, maybe. Um, and you know, technology doesn't last like it used to. However, they're still going and they're going strong. So I love all three of those headphones. I use them for like different scenarios. This foot and leg massager with heat. These are great for the athlete in, the, in your life or somebody who just has really tired legs. Maybe somebody who has that uh, leg syndrome. That is an like active massage gun. It's a deep tissue massager. Um, we have one, again, left it in Michigan, but I thought about bringing it and then I actually just forgot to pack it. But I may order another one because these are so amazing. They're so good at getting knots out of your back, um, especially if you have somebody who can do it for you. It's They're just so good. The next thing is the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition is what I just got maybe a couple months ago so I could have all my books with me on the road. It makes it so easy. That way I'm not carrying a ton of books with me all the time. Oh, I almost dropped it. That way I'm not carrying a ton of books with me all the time. There's also the Kindle Paperwhite. Then from there, there's the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition. The biggest differences between the two is the Signature Edition has the, it has a bigger screen bigger storage, auto adjusting light, and it has wireless charging. And then from there you go to the Oasis and then the Scribe, 
All four of them I'm sure are amazing, but I got this one because I like the size of it. Plus um, I got the 32 gig, so it's gonna hold like a million books probably. Overall, excellent for the reader in your life. This beanie with the light built in is great for that runner in your life, somebody that gets up early in the morning or likes to run at night. That way they can see and people can see them on the road. This Bissell carpet cleaner, I know this is kind of funny to be on the list, but we've had one of these and we actually got one for my parents. And quite honestly, if you have a pet, this is, you have to have this in your house. What we like is it's portable, it's not huge, and it cleans wonderfully. We did get them the pet and whatever cleaner that goes with it, and it's just, it's been game changer for them. And when we had one, it was game changer for us. So love these things. For that new mom and dad in your life, maybe this is their first Christmas being a mom and dad. These mom and dad hats established 2023 are really just cute touch to add to something, maybe to a gift you already got them or to their stocking or just something totally separate. I think that kids are like the easiest to shop for because they just kind of love anything. <laughs> and I think that men are the hardest to shop for because I'm not a man and I don't know, like the men in my life, my husband, my brother-in-law, my dad, they are really content with what they have. And then if they want something, can typically just get it for themselves. But I tried to compile a list of a bunch of different things for the men. And then for women, I think we're the easiest. <laughs> so I will end with our list of stuff. So I'm gonna start with kids, go to men's and then women. So let's go. I've only got a few things on this list because again, like I said, kids are just so easy. So this bonsai starter kit, I just think is kind of cool. I think it's like a STEM kind of gift, um, the science, technology, math kind of stuff. Um, it just allows them to like grow a plant, see the different stages of plants growing, which I also think is cool as an adult. But bonsai trees are probably my favorite little plant. I think they're so cute. So this one's just kind of unique in that way. A light up terrarium for kids. If you have kids that love to collect um, insects and bugs, or maybe even have a lizard, like this could be something fun and different. I think it comes with a bunch of different things that they can put in it and, and decorate it with, or you could even go to your local pet store and find different little things and have at it. If I had a kid, there would be no reptiles in my house. No, thank you. They absolutely terrify me. <laughs> I think they're really cool, but I don't want them like potentially getting out in my house. However, for those of you that have kids that love them, this is really cool. And then this dance mat for kids, which could also be really cool for adults, but it's made for kids, I think ages three to 12. I just think it's really unique. And something that your kids probably don't have, it's also something active and interactive to get them up and moving. So there you go. Okay, on to him. <laughs> I just think guys are so hard to shop for. Like I said, they're they're pretty content with what they have. And if they're not, they can typically get it. However, here are some ideas. So this, this game, it's called Ruin It. It's an adult game, so probably don't play it with kids because it's not gonna be appropriate. But this just kind of looked like a fun game to give and then also play together at Christmas time. This funny husband shirt was just cracked me up. Um, I know some people have said that t-shirts with sayings on them are out, but Personally, I like them and my husband still wears them and we don't wear like overly vulgar things, which I have seen those and I don't think that that's ever in. But if that's your thing, go for it. This one was just funny to me because uh, it tends to be kind of accurate, right? <laughs> This Octo Toss hook and ring game is really fun if you have a pergola outside or an outdoor covering, an outdoor space. Just a fun game to add that you can just kind of toss the ring and try to get it caught on there. Fun to play with your friends. Um, different, unique. You could probably even use it as a stocking stuffer. This men's long sleeve quilted flannel shirt comes in a bunch of different colors. If you live in a cold environment, it could be very good to, <laughs> for your husband or man in your life to have something like this. And then these Coolabura slippers by Ugg. I think these are fantastic and you'll see in a minute, but I just think slippers are something that are kind of overlooked by by us purchasing for the for ourselves, uh, especially men. They don't typically have like slippers, I guess. Um, but my husband, like my husband has said in the past, he wanted slippers and he's looked and looked and looked and maybe I'll get him a pair of these for Christmas so that he can try these. A pair of running shoes. Under Armour is probably my favorite brand. So a pair of running shoes for the runner guy in your life. 
this adjustable folding weight bench. So I thought this was really cool because you can get a weight bench anytime, but this adjustable folding one is great if you have limited space in your house. I just think that it's great because you can fold it up if you have it in your um, garage. You can fold it up and put it away and get it back out when you need it. I think you can probably also just leave it out if you <laughs> need that. I just like having the options of like putting something away or leaving it out. And also for people like myself and my husband who are more nomadic, you have the option of taking it with you on the road, which I think is really, really stand out for me. This survival gear and equipment, 12 in one, it has kind of everything you could, you know, you could want, a guy could want for survival gear, at least the basics. Are you tired of holding the flashlight for the man in your life and being yelled at while doing so? Maybe this is for your kids to get for their dad, but this magnetic flashlight pickup tool, not only can they magnetize it to the hood of the car or wherever on the car, they can also use it, the magnet to pick something up that they've dropped. Win-win for everybody, right? And last but not least is this, I had to include something from Rough and Tumble because it is my favorite brand as of late. They are magnificent. And this is something a little bit luxury for the guy in your life. It's the Diddy bag. And it is like an overnight bag. It could be for men or women, but I went and included it in the men's because again, like an overnight bag is something kind of overlooked, um, I think, for men and women. Maybe not as much women, but I think it's very overlooked and I think it would be a really beautiful luxury gift to give. And then for women in your life, this I could go on and on and on about all my favorites, everything that I've purchased this year that I absolutely love, but I won't. I have narrowed it down to still quite a few things, but let's jump in. So this like spa gift basket, I just thought was fun. It's like, it's like an already put together luxurious gift for you to give to the woman in your life. Maybe you have something going on, maybe a teacher, like your kid's teacher that you just want them to relax over their break. This is a great already put together thing. It's not your typical like wonderful teacher mug kind of thing, which I think teachers are tired of getting. So that's a great option. That's this Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. I have had this eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette. I now have minimized my makeup routine and the makeup that I have. So I have these in the smaller sizes, the um, minis, mini palettes. I can link those down below as well, but this is just an amazing array of colors and they have a bunch of different palettes that you can choose from. So check those out. This overstriped knitted cardigan kind of reminds me of a Gucci cardigan. It is, we'll call it a dupe, but not really because they didn't like take from the brand. They just use similar colors. So I thought this was cool. It comes in a bunch of different colors, some different designs. This jewelry organizer stand and anything like it is just so pretty and so unique. I thought it was just really beautiful. Um, if somebody like, if the woman in your life likes to display all their jewelry, I just think that's really unique. Then you have the Kula Burra slippers. I actually have these. And that's why they're on the list because these are amazing. And that's why I mentioned these for the men as well. They're just so comfortable. I don't know what to say. Like they're by UGG. I think they're kind of like their lower, lower grade brand or whatever. I, I don't really know. I don't really care. I know that I found them at Kohl's and they were super comfy and I got them. So I found them on Amazon so that you guys can order them really easily. Here you are. So again, for runners, like, I don't know why I included so much stuff for running. Maybe it's just for working out because I'm not so much a runner, but I have been working out more. So I have found more gear um, that works for me in my life. And it's this, one of them is this, um, this ball cap because it has this crisscross in the back that you can actually put a ponytail through. So it fits like this and you can just pull your ponytail through any of those places. So you can do a high pony or low pony or medium pony, whatever you want to do. And that one's kind of like a distressed, let me show you that again, kind of like a distressed look. It's black and brown. And then I also found these like crisscross hats that are kind of, I don't know if you can see, yeah, like perforated. And I got that in black and brown. It also has the crisscross in the back. And really I got them because I wanted to try different brands. These feel, I want to say a little cheap. However, the material is so great for runners and like if you're sweating, which is why I ended up keeping them because they weren't crazy expensive. And I just felt like they're, they're good. I did get one from Lululemon years, a couple years ago, maybe two or three years ago. And it's the same thing, ponytail holder, all that. And it's great, but it was just so much more expensive. And I thought there has to be a like lesser expensive alternative, like cheaper alternative. And there I found three. So, and I have been really into like 
flannel shirts lately as like an easy throw on over and I found this one on Amazon that is black brown and white I have worn this three times since I got it last week love it the colors are perfect for my color palette in my closet it goes with pretty much everything I love that the sleeves have this this um what do you call that like tab it has a tab that it holds the sleeves up this is a beach lunch lounge one I couldn't find it but it does not have the tabs and I have to constantly readjust the um, arms to have them folded up, but super comfy. That one is super comfy. I love that one. It goes with everything and it comes in an array of colors. So they do have one that's like a buffalo plaid look one. The Lululemon belt bag or a dupe of the Lululemon belt bag. Both great options for you to gift to somebody. These have been so popular. I have it in this like white cream. I have a black and I have like a greenish color. I unfortunately got some paint on the greenish color, um, which is why I ended up getting the black because I really wear black and white mostly. But that one is great for taking on walks, taking my dog on walks. So I have been using these to death lately because I take my dog out on walks and I'm able to carry my phone, house keys, treats for her, dog bags, um, chapstick, and my AirPods, whatever I need in here, an extra battery. It all fits in here so easily and also would fit in the dupe very easily. And then I just thought this really, this, this studded tumbler is just cute. What does it remind you of? A Starbucks studded tumbler. I just thought it was so cute. You can get it in an array of colors and I just think that it reminds me so much of the Starbucks tumbler that we all love but can barely get our hands on. So these are a great option for the person that loves the look of that tumbler but maybe doesn't love the price of the Starbucks tumbler. This Voluspa candle. Yes, you know I'm gonna have candles on my list. I don't particularly burn candles but tons of women in my life do and so I know that they love the smell of Velaspa, it's so good. And so I just wanted to include one of these. This is kind of more of like just an idea. Find a candle and a scent that maybe the person in your life loves and gift them that. But I'll link this one down below. So I was out with my sister and my niece and I found these shoes. Now, I did not get them that day. I They are by Vionic and it's these loafers and they actually had them in a dark brown and that's what really caught my eye, like a caramel brown. That's what caught my eye. And so I was like, I'm gonna look for them online. I looked and looked and looked, and then I was like, you know what? There's gotta be a like little bit less expensive of a version of those. So I found these. These are Michael by Michael Shannon. I absolutely love these. I have worn them. They fit so well, true to size. I got them in black and brown, and the brown fit wonderfully. The black were like stretched out. So I got another pair from Amazon of these in black, also stretched out in my normal size. Same size as these, which is crazy to me. So I was like, okay, let me go a size down. Then they're too small. So I went back to the Bionic, which was the original brand, and I got them in black. Both of them fit so beautifully. They have just slightly different look to them. These have um, kind of the edge that comes out off of it. And these are flush, a flush edge. I think they're both beautiful, both unique. I have worn these. I will tell you that I wore these and it was raining and you can see that there's a couple little spots that are a little bit darker. I'm probably gonna spray them with something. However, both of these brands and any colors are amazing. If you have the money, I would say go for the higher end brand just because I can tell that they're made a little bit nicer. Um, but these were, Gosh, so much less money that I just don't even care. Like they're just so cute. And so loafers are kind of my go-to kind of Parisian look. I just really love them. So these are worth every penny. And since I've been talking about working out and running so much, a good pair of running shoes, a good pair of athletic shoes, Under Armour being my favorite pair. Um, I have these in black and white now. I have not worn these yet, but the black ones I have had for years and love them. So I got them in white because as you guys know, black, white, brown. It's my jam, like that's what I wear. And then I don't know if you've noticed like the rings that I'm wearing. This is a like David Yurman lookalike ring. And I got that on Amazon, I think so, so stinking cute. I actually also got it. I got this in kind of like a yellowy amber color. And then this one is one that I wear kind of like a, like in place of like a wedding ring or whatever with a couple rings around it. But I absolutely love these. They look so close to the brand David Yearman, which is such a beautiful brand, but so pricey. So I found those and I just wanted to share those. Maybe also great stocking stuffers for the woman in your life. 
Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. That was so much. That'd be fun. Some really good gift ideas. Maybe just something to inspire you for a gift for someone in your life. But wow, that's a lot to choose from. So enjoy. I hope that people that you gift these gifts to absolutely love them for years to come. And if you end up purchasing something from the list, let me know down below. Let me know who you bought it for, if you bought it for yourself. Because hey, a girl can gift herself something on Christmas, you know? So enjoy. I will catch you guys next time. Bye. I have been collecting. <laughs> He's done, I think, a couple puzzles. Puzzle. So let me go and check. For the puzzle lover in your life. So, on to these are. Then you. The next thing is the Kindle paperwork. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I already put together.